Well, Tibet is of course one of the world's most popular tourist destinations and as such, some foreigners who were in Lhasa were witnesses to the writing. Xu Jiaqin spoke to some of them. Yang travelled to Lhasa on his bike a month before the riot occurred. On March 14, he stayed in his hotel located on the youth road where many shops were set on fire and robbed. He heard people screaming outside and saw smokes rising in various areas of the city. He then went out to the streets and saw the rioters. Yeah, lots of them. Uh -huh. Yeah, A lot here and also even more further down the street because I think the worst... Down the street? Yeah, I think the center of it all was down that road. Uh, and then something on the side streets here as well. Outside? Yeah. Yang personally think this was an organized action. People like smashing up windows and putting some stores on fire, people were beaten up, people were running all directions and it was um, yeah, chaos, complete chaos on the streets. What, what kind of people? At that time I had no idea because I was too far away, but then um, they got closer and closer and then I saw there was some sort of a mob, you can call it, and uh, it was like one tight group and some people in the outskirts also. and. Uh, they were systematically destroying everything in their way. And it must have been organized, because it doesn't happen like that. No, it doesn't happen anywhere like that. Yang told reporters that the situation started to turn better within a short time. After that, say on Sunday and Monday, there was still a lot of police, but I didn't see any more um, violence or anything. No, it was calm and you could if you went to a supermarket, you had no idea this had happened because everything was kind of back to normal very quick. René has been working for a travel agency in Lhasa for two years. He also saw the violence occurring nearby the hotel he stayed in. And now it looks a lot better, of course, but this was full of uh, uh, you know, rubbish and uh, burning stuff. You can see most of the stuff over here. They took everything out and burned it. Local government said some foreign media will also visit Lhasa soon. Xu Daoqun, CCTV, Lhasa.